Good evening everybody. I'm sorry that you couldn't see us in person so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to run through the PowerPoint that I would have presented to you this evening and then your child's tutor will then be in contact with you to have a Zoom meeting with them so that they can make contact with you and you know that they are the port of call that you need if you've got any issues. So the purpose of the meeting would have been to help your student make a positive start to the year so that you were aware of the expectations that we have as sixth form teachers and to ensure that there is good communications that we work together, students, parents and the FCC sixth form team to make sure that your child makes the best progress possible. There are four key figures within the sixth form, myself, Mrs Button, I'm head of sixth form and I'm responsible for head of um, teaching and learning. I also sit on senior team. Miss Armstrong is in charge of pastoral issues. Uh, she is particularly responsible for the UCAS process that your son or daughter will be involved in in year 13. We've then got Kate Berwick who is our sixth form student manager. She is responsible for student welfare. So if there are any issues with your child then Kate will be the first person to, for you to see. Finally, uh, Tina Belcher plays a very important role in the sixth form and she is responsible for post-18 guidance. So she is responsible for careers education, making sure that the students move on to an appropriate progression route. Your son or daughter will have been issued their timetable last week. For the majority of students, they will have three subjects, academic subjects, plus an enrichment subject. For students who are doing biology, physics, chemistry, economics, business studies, psychology, geography, DT, IT or computing, we have asked them to undertake the Core Maths programme. The Core Maths programme was a government initiative brought in about three years ago to improve mathematical skills of A-level students. The subjects that I've just mentioned have a strong mathematical element and this Core Maths is used to support that mathematical element within those subjects. Students not doing those subjects, however, can do the EPQ instead. The EPQ is an AS qualification. It is recognised by most universities and the EPQ stands for Extended Project Qualification and that is where students write a 4,000 word essay of their choice. They under undertake research and this, is, um, this develops their academic skills. If your son or daughter is unhappy with the subjects that they are taking and they do wish to drop them, they must make that decision by the 21st of September. Beyond that date, it is too late for them to start another academic programme. Some of the students in the sixth form are taking four A-levels without the additional extras. Other students might be taking five subjects because they are taking maths with further maths. By the time we get to year 13 though, the expectation is our students will only do three subjects. Universities only accept entry requirements from three subjects and so that is what we encourage our students to do. If your son or daughter though has a low APS of below 5 or QCA points of below 40, then they possibly could struggle with A-level. So those are students that we do look after and we do check on from time to time to check that they are coping with the academic rigour of these new A-level courses. If your child does fall into that bracket, then please encourage them at home, but also please inform us if you feel that they are struggling or they are falling behind with their academic studies. I've also, inc I've also included a slide with key dates for you. On the 13th of November, Year 12 will be receiving their settling in reports. Those reports will just be a report from your child's teachers about how well they've settled in, how well they've kept up with um, time management, how well their organisation has been and whether they have coped with the content that we are delivering. The first time that they will be assessed academically will be with the mock exams on the 18th of January. The information from those mock exams will be issued on February the 20th, sorry, February the 10th, will be on February the 10th, which is the same night as parents' evening. Mock exams are due to be um, set on the 28th of June 2021. OK, we, what we will do is Mrs Berwick will be the, one of the first ports of call and she will communicate with you. There will be communications on the website. On the website you will find the study programme that we put in place over the summer plus a reading list. Kate Berwick will also be able to contact you via ParentPay, via EduLink. You will also, when you meet your 
child's tutor receive your child's tutor email address and they will be your first port of call if you are unable to contact Mrs Berwick. Finally, there is also the Show My Homework. We are currently using Show My Homework, although we will be moving to Google Classroom. So your son daughter needs to be aware about how to use Google Classroom. The ethos of the sixth one then, FCC provides a stimulating learning environment. Students are expected to recognise their talents and utilise them effectively. The rights of others, respect and accepting responsibility helps us to create a caring and supportive sixth form. We are constantly striving as a team of teachers and tutors to raise standards and to provide young people with the skills and confidence to progress smoothly to higher education or employment. We would like you to be aware of some of the expectations that we have of sixth formers. Obviously because of the Covid changes there are a number of changes. Your son or daughter will bring home the sixth form contract. That is a contract between the student and us and you to make sure they achieve as best they can whilst they are at FCC. One of the things that we have been really proud of in the past has been the Visible Leaders programme, but unfortunately because of the Covid restrictions that is unable to take place at the moment. We make sure we want our students to attend and be punctual to all their lessons. However, because of the Covid changes, if your child has a significant free period within their timetable, they may study from home. For instance, if they do not have a lesson until period four, they do not need to be in for registration. They can come in for period four, period five and then leave. Also with Year 12, if for instance they had a lesson period 1, the expectation would be that they would be in for registration. If they then had a lesson period 3, they would stay in school for period 3, but then they could sign out and go home at the end of period 3. So currently we are advising students to study at home where possible. However, it is vital that they sign in or out. The signing in and out records are by the office, the sixth form office. As part of the contract, we insist that the students come to school dressed for work. Jeans, t-shirts, sweatshirts are absolutely fine. But outlandish clothing is not acceptable. And students will be sent home if we consider them inadequately dressed for a school environment. Your son or daughter will be expected to wear their lanyard. However, again, because of the COVID restrictions, we've been unable to take the photographs. So as soon as the photographs have been done, your son or daughter will need to wear their lanyard around school. We are making changes to the use of the common room. We are restricting the number of students in the common room at any one time so that we can allow for social distancing. So your son or daughter will only be able to be in the common room during study periods. During break and lunch times, the expectation is that they go to the small hall or they go to the tutor rooms. There are study rooms timetabled around the school that your son or daughter can go to during free periods. The support we would like from you as parents. We would like you to ensure your son or daughter comes to school, attends all their lessons, dresses appropriately and is properly equipped. This year I have asked the students to bring face masks, hand sanitizer and disinfectant wipes. We would also like you to support us with your son and daughter's behaviour. Most of the students in the sixth form behave exemplary and they come to school because they want to come to school, they work hard and they are incredibly conscientious. If students do not follow our behaviour contract, however you will be contacted and we will invite you in for interview. We would also like you to make sure that your son, and daughter, your son or daughter has adequate facilities to support them with their learning at home. If you have problems getting textbooks or study guides, please let us know and we will know what we, we can do for you. Extracurricular activities. Normally we would adopt the Visible Leaders programme, unfortunately that, not, that cannot take place this year. We do, however, have a healthy Interact programme. The Interact is the junior version of the Rotary Club. 
and Libby Flaherty, one of our Year 13 students, is chair of that club. That club will continue during this academic year. Mrs Bettle is also running the Duke of Edinburgh Award and we will be trying to run that as much as possible this academic year. We still have the ski trip planned for January. As soon as we get any further updates as to whether it is going ahead or not going ahead, I will inform you. Other cultural and educational trips have currently been suspended. There are more dates for your diary. So on the 16th of October we have our first citizenship day. That is when the students undertake skills. That is where they undertake other um, activities that enrich their sixth form curriculum. We have then got Sixth Form Open Evening. Sixth Form Open Evening has yet to be confirmed in terms of how it will operate under Covid restrictions. The same goes for the Careers Fair on um, 18th of November, Presentation Evening and Parents Evening. So although we have a date in the calendar, the Covid restrictions may change the way these meetings are delivered. Pastoral Care. We have a dedicated team of tutors. Year 12, Mr Baldwin, Mr Harris, Mrs Heath and Mr Rogers are the Year 12 tutors. They offer a high degree of support for your son or daughter. There is a sixth form bursary available if you are a family on low income and wish to claim sixth form bursary please could you contact Kate Berwick. Kate Berwick will then provide you with a form for you to fill in and that just means that there is a bursary available to help perhaps with your son or daughter's education in terms of textbooks or travel expenses. Your son or daughter's tutor will be in contact with you shortly. I look forward to working with you, I look forward to working with your son or daughter and I look forward to helping them through their education through this next progression route onto their future pathway.